Hi all I'm Urmila studying in grade 7 of Grace Valley Indian School Today I'm going to take you to the journey to remember the great man who changed the future of the nation His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan His life journey and achievements begins in 1980 Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan is born to the Bani Yas family in the Jahili area Alain He was the fourth son of Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. In 1926, by the age of 10, Sheikh Zayed memorizes most of the verses from the Quran. In 1946, Sheikh Zayed was appointed the ruler's representative in the eastern region. His office is in Al Muwayji in Alain. In 1953, Sheikh Zayed travels abroad for the first time. visiting countries including France, Great Britain and the US. He is impressed by the progress he sees in these countries and wants to pursue a similar approach to development in his own country. While visiting some hospitals in France, he is impressed by the sight of healthy babies and ponders about the plight of thousands of malnourished children back home and decides to work for their welfare. 1959 Sheikh Zayed opens the first Al Nahyanian primary school in Alain. In 1961, Sheikh Zayed orders the building of the first mud road that runs from the palace to Al Makta bridge in Abu Dhabi. In 1966, Sheikh Zayed becomes the new ruler of Abu Dhabi. The year also witnesses the establishment of a number of new administrative departments. headed by members of the Al Nahyan ruling family and some prominent citizens in 1968 Abu Dhabi airport opens under the name of Al Batin airport Al Makta bridge is built in Abu Dhabi in 1970 following Sheikh Zayed's interest in preserving wildlife a first of its kind animal sanctuary comes up near Alain In 1971 the federation is formed on December 2nd the newly formed federation includes the emirates of Abu Dhabi Dubai Sharjah Ajman Umal Quwain and Fujairah takes shape under the able leadership of Sheikh Zayed the emirate of Ras Al Khaimah joins a year later in 1973 the official currency of UAE the dirham is issued In 1976, the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority is established with the sole purpose of investing the money generated from oil revenues. Emirates Telecommunications, formerly known as Emirtel, is established. UAE University is established. In 1982, Sheikh Zayed attends the first convocation in the UAE University in Alain. The new Abu Dhabi International Airport begins operation. In 1995, the Moroccan Historian Society awards Sheikh Zayed the Arab History Golden Medal for supporting history and historical studies. Sheikh Zayed is awarded a gold medal from the Food and Agriculture Organization for contribution of agricultural development in the UAE and other parts of the world. In 1997, Sheikh Zayed is awarded the Golden Panda Award by the World Wildlife Fund. the first award to a world leader by the fund the award was given to him for his efforts to protect wildlife sheikh zayed receives an honorary doctorship in the field of agriculture from egyptian university in shams in 1998 sheikh zayed is awarded the shield of the organization for the noble stances he took towards islam and arab causes by the islamic education science and culture organization 2000 Sheikh Zayed is awarded the Sheikh Fatima Benevolent Award in recognition of his humanitarian contribution. Sheikh Zayed is awarded the Golden Shield of the Arab and Muslim Historians Association for his services and contributions to scholars in the field. In 2001, Sheikh Zayed is awarded the Medal of the International Food Day by the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization. in appreciation of his contribution to helping the needy worldwide sheikh zayed is decorated with the first degree of the 
Abubakar Siddiq Order for Charity and Humanitarian Services by the Association of Arab Red Crescent Societies. The highest order is given in recognition of Sheikh Zayed's charitable and humanitarian efforts. In 2002, Sheikh Zayed is honored by the UNDP for his work to protect the environment and encourage conservation. In 2004, Sheikh Zayed tours the eastern and western regions of Abu Dhabi. Sheikh Zayed's tour reflects his policy of being constantly updated on the progress of projects designed to provide a comfortable life for citizens. In November 2nd, Sheikh Zayed passes away after ruling the UAE since the birth of the federation more than three decades ago. In November 4th, the United Nations General Assembly holds a special commemoration session for the late Sheikh Zayed. Thank you all. I hope this has been an informative session for all of you.